on this time if I'm gonna lose my queen side and stuff. So um should I get E five or um D five or A three just dot might be four I don't know. I'll try E five. to play knight g5 if it takes then d4 is a bit strength strengthened right, so it's not taken that I play here as well so this pawn here means okay more control of that but c5 is going to be slower can I play for a bishop h6 sacrifice I wonder Bishop c1, queen c1, not very subtle. Um, Alright, let's hold the fort here then. Uh, Bishop c3 to start off with. If knight d3, maybe a3 to stop b4 for a moment. Knight e1 with a5. Getting 91. Hmm. The B4 straight off. I don't know. Knight takes D3. Ah, it's D4. I don't know. D4 is um. Looks to be crumbling. It's B4. Yeah. It's Knight F6 and Bishop C6. I'll play here anyway. Maybe Queen H5. Bishop F4. That's Queen D4. Draw? I was offering a draw, I don't know why. Okay, I'll protect. He didn't take on D4. I'll just, take, I'll just protect this instead and play Queen H5. Uh, I don't know why he's offering a draw. It's only a five minute game, it's not like World Championship, so I'm going to play on. I want to play Queen H5, Bishop H6. Okay. Um, D1 here. To almost play um, D5 or Knight G5. Knight G5. Oh. All right, I'll play it here. Knight G5. C6 and Bishop E4 as well. Try and get the pieces into the attack. Maybe Knight E6 and Queen G6. Queen G6 and Queen H7, King Bishop G6. So Knight E6. Bishop's going to be a, hopefully a good attacking piece. Hmm. Well, this is better than d4 dropping off. Uh, it could have just d4 could have dropped off. Um, shall I ignore that? Set the exchange 96. I think I will. Because this this will be on as well anyway. If he loses that turn. So bishop h6 and queen h7 major threats at the moment. Queen h7, king f7, bishop g6 mate. Something. How does he defend? Uh, book sack. Hmm. Uh, I, just, I could just take it if there's anything stronger. Check. King f8, king f7. Okay, I'll take. 
overtake on C6 is simple. If I take, oh, oh no, not quite yet. Um, I'm not just D5 here, there's knight E5, queen H7, then D takes E6. I think D5. There's a knight E5 check, king F7 takes on E6. And check now, and d takes e6. But then bishop takes d1. Oh, there's bishop c5 as well here. Bishop c5 could be interesting. Bishop e7. Alright, I'll flick this in bishop c5. So bishop e7, I don't know, maybe um, queen g6. Sorry, bishop g6 to threaten queen h8. If knight g6, mm, I could play d takes e6, which actually threatens queen h8. If bishop d1, queen h8. If bishop c5, um, maybe just rook takes d8. Right, I'll go with that. So bishop, so rook, queen h8 is now a threat of mate. Bishop c5. Maybe check first king e7, queen g7, then rook takes d8. Uh, and I could play it after takes, it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, I'll take the queen first. Uh, maybe e5 is going to drop off. So king e6, maybe bishop f5. Uh, what about e7 here and bishop g6? Uh, oh, um, all right, let's think. Right, just bishop g2 for a moment. Bishop d4. All right, so hang on, e6 and queen f6. So. Yeah, queen f6 to try and win this e5 knight. Oh, bishop f5 could be useful as well. Actually, bishop f5 here, it looks as though it's mate. Yeah, it is mate. Oh well, let's have a quick look. I don't know why he didn't win d4 pawn. So, um, yeah. Uh, I know this was silly stuff. I mean... <laughs> Knight b4, it's a good move. I mean, a5 and b4 coming along here. But he didn't seem to follow it through. He didn't play, um, you know, knight takes or queen takes d4, because e5 would be dropping off. If I tried this, queen h5, then queen takes e5, it's all dropping off. It's strange. He's just played bishop b7 and off with a draw. So that's quite strange. And now I really have got an attack. Um, to speak of. Oh well, comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.